In this video, we will learn about the envelope theorem. Okay, I will give an example and then we'll uh, write its general form. Okay, so basically it says us how optimal value of a particular function changes when a parameter of a function changes. Okay, so let's give an example uh, first. So let us say we have a function that is u is a function of let us say we have a choice variable x and also a parameter a which is equal to minus x square plus 2ax plus 4a square okay so we have a function of one variable x that depends upon a parameter a okay now if this function is being given then the first order condition for optimization requires we know that uh, first order condition for optimization requires that we take the derivative of this function with respect to x and set it equal to zero that is uh, when we take the derivative of this function partial derivative of this function with respect to x and set it equal to zero so if i take derivative with respect to x so it will become here minus twice x plus derivative of x is one so we are left with twice a and we set it equal to zero okay so first order condition is that we take partial derivative of this function uh, with respect to x and set it equal to zero that means when we solve it for x what will we get here so which gives us uh, twice x if i transpose it here it will become positive will be equal to twice a or x will be equal to a and I can write this uh, in this fashion also that is x is equal to x star a which is equal to a okay that means uh, our critical uh, you know my point is a function of a and I have written it in this fashion now if I try to put this value of x uh, back into our this function what we also called the objective function okay so let's write it as objective function if i take this critical value and put it into the objective function then let's write the new function is v which will be a function of parameter a okay and i can write it uh, in this fashion that is f of x star a and a okay basically what i am trying to suggest or say here that when we plug this critical value into the objective function we will get a function what we call the optimal value function or uh, you know indirect objective function also okay just plug the value of uh, you know x is equal to a in this function what will we get here you can see so in place of x we have to write a so we will have uh, minus so x square that means a square let me write it here a square uh, plus twice a times x is a plus 4a square okay so when we solve so 4a square plus 2a square is uh, 6a square minus uh, a square it comes out to be 5a square okay so uh, what we got so we got va that is our optimal value uh, function came out to be 5a square now if i take the partial derivative of this you know optimal value function with respect to parameter okay so i can write it in this fashion d v upon d a okay so taking derivative of this function with respect to a so we will get 5 to the 10 a okay i am really sorry for the background noise i have no control on that okay so you be uh, you be at the, uh, this uh, you know kind of thing so it says us that i am getting disturbed uh, with this uh, noise okay so what i have done here let me repeat it here we were given let us say an objective function in one variable and a parameter a first order condition will require that the derivative of this function with respect to x should be equal to zero when we solve x uh, you know 
uh, we got x is equal to a that means the critical point is equal to a when i plug this uh, the value of critical point back into our objective function and i have named it as va which is a function of uh, you know this uh, maximum value critical value and the parameter a when i plug this value in this function i got 5a square and when i differentiate this optimal value function with respect to a i got 10a now uh, the envelope theorem tells us that we don't require to do all this stuff we simply can do one thing if i uh, that is the optimal value function tells us we don't uh, need to do these very steps simply what we can do if we simply differentiate the objective function okay let us say d f with respect to the parameter a and evaluate it at the critical point that is when x is equal to x star a okay now if i take the uh, derivative of this objective function with respect to a directly okay so uh, no a is involved this derivative is zero in the first term derivative of a will be here one so we will be left with 2x okay so 2x uh, plus 4 to the 8 so okay 4 to the 8 a okay so the uh, you know envelope theorem tells us you don't need to find out the optimal value function then take the derivative of optimal value function with respect to the parameter it says us simply you know differentiate the given objective function with respect to parameter okay and evaluate it at the critical uh, point okay so we got df upon da is equal to 2x plus 8a okay when we evaluate this uh, function at the optimal value so x is equal to x star a we got it here x star a is this so in place of x we have a so i can write it here 2a plus 8a and which comes out to be same as 10a okay here uh, dv upon da came out to be 10a and df upon da it also came out to be 10a okay it gives us i can say it gives us a shortcut shortcut method of finding the change in the optimal value okay due to the change in parameter so what we need to do we simply differentiate the given function objective function with respect to parameter and evaluate it at the critical point this is the essence of optimal value function it simply says uh, says us uh, you don't need to uh, do this uh, this step this step and this step simply what you got the critical point just uh, differentiate uh, partially the objective function with respect to the parameter and evaluate it at the critical point you will get the same result as uh, what what you would have got when you uh, formed the optimal value function and take its partial derivative with respect to parameter okay now i can write it in general form and let me write it here let us say we have a maximum function okay so let's say we want to maximize our utility which will is a function of two variables i am taking the two variable case here uh, x y and a parameter a okay so this is our objective function okay this is our objective function with two choice variables x and y and a parameter a now first order condition will require as i have told you first order condition uh, requires that the derivative of this uh, objective function with respect to choice variables should be equal to zero that means first order condition will require df upon dx should be equal to 0 and df upon dy should be equal to 0 okay now if second order condition are also met the solution would be as we have seen it here okay when we solve for the critical points we will get the solution is x is equal to x star a and y will be equal to y star a okay now if we substitute x is equal to x star a y is equal to y star a back into our objective function okay 
and we will get an optimal value function in this case the maximum value function let us denote it by v a okay if i take this value this value and plug it into the optimal value function so we will get a new function what we call the maximum value function okay so which will be equal to which will be a function of f of x star a y star so in place of x we have x star a in place of y we have y star a and we have the parameter okay this function is called as i have told you it is called the maximum value function okay if it was simply the optimize uh, this function then we will call it the optimal value function or we also call it the indirect objective function okay now here you can see uh, we got this very function where this function is the value of this function f okay when the values of x and y are those that maximize this very function so if i differentiate this uh, function with respect to uh, you know let me write it here differentiate this function with respect to the parameter that means uh, d v upon d a what will we get here let us uh, try to find out if i differentiate this function so we will use the chain rule here so we will get the derivative of this function with respect to alpha we will get uh, del f upon del x times uh, because x is a function of x star so del x star upon del a okay plus again we will get del f upon del y and since y is a function of uh, you, you know a so we will get uh, del y star upon del a plus uh, and the derivative of alpha with respect derivative of a will be so it will be del f upon del a okay simple thing i have differentiated this function with respect to parameter a here and we got df upon dx first and since x is a function of parameter so we use the chain rule del x star upon del a and same i have done with this uh, y star a plus df upon da okay now we know that first order condition will require del f upon del x should be equal to zero okay so we know that we know that from first order condition that del f upon del x will be equal to zero del f upon del y should sorry del f upon okay it's uh, clear del y it should be equal to zero then this means our del v upon del a will be equal to if del f upon del x is equal to zero so here we will have zero okay here we will have zero so this term becomes zero times this it will become zero zero times this it is also equal to zero so we will get del f upon del a del f upon del a so it is very simple thing here with an example we have seen there were two things either you know well, first uh, was that we differentiate our objective function with respect to x set it equal to zero plug the value of uh, you know x is equal to a back into the back into our objective function and the new function we call the maximum value function or optimal value function okay so the optimal value function was this if we uh, deriv uh, try to derivate it with respect to parameter we got 10a simple thing it says us that you don't need to do all this stuff simply what you uh, require here is that you take the derivative of this objective function with respect to parameter a and evaluate it at the critical point so you will get the same result uh, if you would have formed the optimal value function and taken 
and took its derivative with respect to parameter okay so here it says that the derivative of optimal function optimal value function with respect to parameter a will be equal to the derivative of our objective function with respect to parameter a when evaluated at its critical point okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you